Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here. Welcome back to UFC 224 here on UFC 3. Just managed to get a win in the first matchup of the night with Vitor Belfort against Machida. And now it's time to move on to the second fight of the night where it's Souza up against Gastelum. So we're going to be fighting as Souza where hopefully we can get another win and make it two tonight. And Kelvin Gastelum. Well, Kelvin Gastelum has been a dominant force nearly every step of the way thus far in the UFC. All the skills you would like to see in a future UFC champion. Striking, takedowns, take defense, 10th planet jiu-jitsu, very opposite with his submission game. And of course, off the ticker to boot, Joe, this is a tough force to be reckoned with at 185 or 170 pounds. Kelvin Gastelum shocked the world when he was the underdog, but yet defeated the dangerous Uriah Hall to win fighter in a weight class one step above his natural weight of 170 pounds. So here is the ex-gym product, Arnaldo Xhaka de Souza, a guy who many believe right now at present is the best middleweight in the world. For much of his UFC career, he has been on the brink of a UFC title shot. Perhaps there is one coming down the pipe, but you can be sure when it does, Xhaka de Souza will likely be favored by odds makers to win that UFC middleweight championship. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to the mat time and time again has proven to be one of the most effective tools in his arsenal. Alrighty, here we go. Last Saturday's fight of the night. We can hopefully get Souza the win this time round. Souza is 38. He is four inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gaston. And now introducing his opponent. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding professional record of 25 wins, 5 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in a Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. All righty, it's time. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Block that kick to the body. Opens with the inside leg kick. Ah, come on. He's fainting with the punch. Uh, He's trying to stay up. He's in big, big trouble. Nice leg kick. Punch is blocked. Hard straight punch. Oh, no. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he absorbs a kick. Oh. His head here left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. No, no, no. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. He's no. now back to half guard. Effective punch there oh, by shit. Gastelum. Protect yourself. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here. He's now working for full guard. He's in full guard here. He's looking for the triangle. Oh, what? I got... 
For fuck's sake. Excellent posture here. Elbow by Gaston. Right, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Nice. Really missed with that right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jacare Souza. Oh. Throwing it to the body there. Come on. Ah. Very nice leg kick there by Jacare Souza there. Ah, come on. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. No. Ah. And he reverses position. He's going to transition to the arm bar here. He wants to rotate his body sideways. Wants to get that leg across his opponent's face. That arm looks locked up tight. Ah, oh, shit. Went the wrong way. Ah. from the clinch again. Well, he's staying busy in the clinch here. Joe lands a nice punch there. Oh, he connected with that right here. Stuffs the ah, shit. There. How good is this takedown defense? No. Oh, oh my God. No doubt about it, Joe. Slides him over. And no. Nice reversal here. Into the back. Oh, oh, oh. The end of round one. Well, we definitely lost that round. That was appalling. Okay, honest to God, how do I stop these freaking? How do I stop these tutorials? I'm so done. Um... Nope. Not there. Uh, not there. Oh, no, yeah, hold on. Honest to God, how do I, how do I stop these stupid tutorial shit? Wait, hold on. All right, never mind. That's not it. Oh, don't tell me how to. How the hell do you turn that? I've been, I've had it on for like the last. No, it's not gonna be there, you doofus. Oh, okay. Fuck me, it's right there. <laughs> I just totally did went straight over the top of it. All right, anyway, back to the fight. Nothing Here happened. We see a beautiful takedown. Here's another takedown. And here's another very nice takedown. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. There you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's round go, two go. here. Switching stances here. Oh! Oh, nice dodge. No, oh, he, how the hell does that work? I literally went for a takedown the exact same time he did, yet his works and mine doesn't. There we go. Total strikes. Hard left. Transitions to full guard. Ah, shit. He's going to try to take the back. Nice. Oh, how did he do that? You lucky ass motherfucker. He's looking to pass. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, another sub. 
It looks like he's got that Kimura locked up tight. He might get a finish here. This Kimura is getting very tight. He might be forced to tap. Oh no, here I went the wrong Oh my god! The wrong way again. And he's in full Another one. I'm gonna finish this on a sub. I'm not gonna stop trying until we get a sub here because we are not winning the fight in, in any other region. Oh no! Oh, ow. No. Oh! That one hurt. He's trying to pass here. Thirty seconds to go in round two. No, 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 hands up, hands up. Twenty seconds to go round two. Nice. And he gets reversed. Trying to take the back here. We'll double check. We'll double check. It looks like he's got the submission. Wow, that was close. Well, we had three subs, so I think we've won that round because we had a lot of the fight in our sort of control. We see some Almost finished it there. So I think it's a round apiece now. Here it is from another angle. Let's see it one more time. We got so close to ending this fight twice in that round. Beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going. All right, here we go. Final round. Let's finish this thing. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round. To try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really oh, shown shit. any signs of slowing oh. down. So oh! This could be it right here. Oh. He's picking oh. oh, another one! Come on, let's finish this. Whoa. Oh, like, how can his head handle this much? Go hard or go home. Ah, oh, he got another takedown on me. Oh. That's a clean left hand. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. Amba, Amba, Amba. Posture's up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Gaston. And back to full guard. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, another sub. Arm triangle attempt here. It looks like he's got that arm triangle locked up tight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. No, fuck. He's free. Beautiful arm triangle escape. Side control. Souza gets in the Ah, come on. Double leg. Boom. as he looks to improve position here. Nice reversal here. Ah, shit. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Showing good defense, covering up, stopping that ground and pound. And he's maintaining control in the top position. One minute remains in the fight. 
No, 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 no. Mixing in the elbows. Oh, Souza's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Come on, come on, come on. 30 seconds now to go on the fight. Come on. Oh my gosh, what a fight. Oh, he might be out. Locked him with that right hand. What a Oh, what a fight. Up. That was insane. Right, so that was insane. I think that last round's going to be a tie. I'm not a judge, Joe. This is a fight that was close on paper. That is how it played out. It truly could go either way. I think it's going to be it could honestly be I mean, we had sub attempts in all three rounds, but I reckon this one's a, a tie. A draw. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ronaldo Jacare! Wow, we got it. They must have given that last round to us. Well, the alligators are chomping throughout this arena here tonight. Just 29-28. I think we definitely lost the first round, but we I think we may have just won the last the last two after that. Still here as he gets close to 40 years old. Shakade Souza proven to be one of the best 185ers in the world, and if he does get that title shot, we would not be surprised to see Shakade Souza capitalize. All right, so two wins. Now it's up to the main event. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Man, that was that was awesome. I can't believe we managed to get that unanimous that unanimous decision. Definitely, definitely fight of the night like the other night in real life. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed that one. And until next time, I'll catch you.